Hi and welcome to a new episode of the podcast. This podcast is called Remote Talks. You are probably listening to it on Spotify, but it's also available on YouTube, on Apple Podcasts, on Google Podcasts, on Ghana.com and Jio Seven and wherever else you listen to audio. Today's episode is about atheism once again and specifically about a problem as usual that I have noticed in the way we approach the topic of opposing religion. and i find that a lot of atheists are also kind of sort of guilty of it i am talking about religion occupying a special space in our hearts and how that emotional attachment to it keeps us from exploring our atheism or rationalism in its full force so what am i exactly talking about we will get into the topic momentarily before that i will ask you to if you have not uh, supported if you have not subscribed to this podcast on any platform please feel free to do so spotify has a follow button every podcast platform has a subscribe button youtube has a subscribe button that you can click and hit the bell icon along with it so that you get future episodes uh, this channel is basically a place where i talk about society and storytelling storytelling because Uh, and atheism is not a far removed topic from it because religions are essentially stories that human kind told itself about itself so when i talk about atheism and religion i'm also kind of sort of talking about storytelling and society because that's what eventually all of this ends up affecting so yeah your support in the uh, in, in in this podcast is appreciated and with that i enter the main topic which is that when a lot of people talk about rationalism and opposing irrational behavior they are okay with all that but they kind of don't want atheism to be the way in which they do it so you will find people including some atheists who will say that the real fight is against irrationality it's against superstition it's against uh pseudo science or unscientific behavior or that sort of thing but then you say that you know we need to oppose religion which is the a home to all of these things and they say yeah but you know religion is if religion is irrational so are a whole lot of other things also why only point at religion and my view on this is a little bit complicated and i made a reel about it which again ab kuch logo ke sir ke upar se chala gaya so i figured i'll make a longer video about this and my view is that and this may be an unpopular opinion irrationality is not the problem again i will repeat irrationality superstition etc are not the biggest problem they are a problem but they are not the biggest problem the biggest problem is religion and i will tell you why human beings are rational animals we have our problems but by and large we are able to tell the difference between fact and fiction we are able to tell when someone is trying to cheat us we are able to take measures to defend ourselves against deception if someone came to you and say uh, and said uh, give me 100 rupees and i will uh, i will i will prove to you that i actually have three heads you will you will push them away you will ask them to leave and not come back because you are a smart person you know what reality is right but if that same person came back to you wearing saffron clothes with a tilak on his forehead and he was chanting mantras in a language that you neither need nor use uh, nor nor have you ever learned how to use it then you will be more sympathetic to them so what is exactly happening here you're not stupid you know what rational is what irrational is you know you you can recognize irrationality superstition etc what is happening here think about it irrationality is hiding behind religion or at least the appearance of religion religion legitimizes superstition superstition is an everyday thing there are folk tales that are not religious in nature which tell us about ghosts that we can reject but the reason we don't reject superstition sometimes is because it comes dressed as religious uh, religion or spirituality so think about religion as if it is an embassy building there is modern secular society in which you live with people from all religious backgrounds 
and you have and you have an education you know what scientific outlook is you know what critical thinking is and you employ it in your daily life if you didn't you would either be bankrupt or dead right people that there is no dearth of people who want to cheat you you know how to defend yourself against cheats but in this landscape there is this embassy called religion whenever irrationality is caught it goes and hides there and says i have diplomatic immunity you can't touch me and you don't because you are afraid of entering that embassy building so religion essentially acts like a defense a a a border wall behind which superstition irrational behavior che- cheating and deception of all kind is able to hide you can destroy irrationality on a case by case basis till the cows come home but as long as that home remains you will not be able to do it effectively you will have to have to go after that building you will have to surround it you will have to make sure that religion knows that it should not harbor irrationality within its walls if it does it should face a threat from you the thinking individual the atheist the rationalist the modern educated person because if that does not happen think about all the manifestations of this problem that you are already facing that we are already facing we have industrialist like proper businessmen who run factories and produce material and sell it we have industrialists dressing up in saffron gowns in order to use the power of religion to sell fake medicine we have politicians using religion as a way to get votes despite not having done their work as administrators we have we, we have people in the judiciary who think that peacocks reproduce through their tears these are not these are not small things these are humongous disappointments especially coming from people in high places but the reason they persist is because we don't go after the embassy the place where such irrationality finds its home if someone said that he believes that peacocks reproduce through their tears and that's a personal belief of theirs you will laugh at them but if they say that this is something they read in a religious book we will all be oh no no it's a religious now we can't talk about it then see what is happening religion becomes a defense for irrationality and because we refuse to go after it we allow irrationality to thrive and that irrationality often comes back to bite us in the posterior we have religion spilling over from religious from spaces which are supposed to be religious like places of worship like temples mosques and church uh, churches uh, we have religion spilling over spilling out of them and entering classrooms in america creationism is people are trying to get creationism into textbooks and creationism is thinly veiled religious propaganda there are uh, religion there are places where religion is spilling over into scientific laboratories our own country is an example the other day the iit the indian institute of technology has brought out a calendar praising hindu culture Th- religion is spilling out and entering places like our homes and our news uh, uh, news channels you are supposed to turn on the television look at a news channel and find out what is the issue of the day in terms of public good but what are you getting instead you are getting anchors praising the gods if we do not stop this spilling over of religion from religious spaces into spaces where they do not belong then we will all pay the price for it and then we will all be guilty of not having done anything about it despite knowing that all these things are wrong atheism is an opposition to religion it is a lack of belief in god but it is also something that is necessary in a time when religion is spilling over and threatening to drown everything this is true in many countries but it is also true in india and it does not help to simply say that our religion has always been friendly towards atheism it doesn't matter if your religion is a if your religion is something that can lend its power to other people 
then that power needs to be kept in watch that's all i had to say on this matter and i'm sorry if i was especially uh, i was more ranty than usual but i felt that this was an important topic that needed to be talked about as always your feedback is most welcome if you're watching this on youtube leave a comment uh, and as uh, i will remind you this podcast is also available on spotify google podcasts apple podcasts gana.com geo7 and wherever else you listen to podcasts the podcast now has its own independent website which is vimo.in and you can go listen to all older episodes there and also on this youtube channel if you are watching on youtube thank you for watching rather thank you for listening and i will see you in the next one happy new year by the way bye bye